How's it going guys? My name is Dragon Master 412 and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an RPG game in Scratch. First things first, you need to Google Scratch and click Scratch, download Scratch, one point I'm lagging like a donut. Jeez. You think, hey look at this guy. He's too big. So you want to make a 16 by 25 sprite. So I've already done this, so I'm just gonna open it, open him up. Okay, so we want this guy. So that's the size you want it to be. So you wanna just delete that. Uh, forgot how to delete. Delete. You wanna name it player. Once you've designed it, you're going to want to make your costumes like this. Front, back, left, and right. Once that is done, I'm going to teach you guys movement. So you're going to come to control. And when the green flag is pushed, you're going to need that. So what men? Up. Down. Left. Right, or WASD if you prefer. For this tutorial, I'm using up, down, left, and right. And you want to go to motion, point in direction. So that's a zero for up direction. So that to minus 90, point in direction, set that to 90. So now when we push it, you can see it does that. Yeah, straight and all. So you want to move 10 steps. 10, 10 steps is like the smoothest, I think. I Actually, I don't know, really. I've never tried increasing that. So now you see, you can move, but... You might notice that the sprite is upside down. So right is pushed. So it's left left that we're pushing. Then it looks So we wanna go up, so we wanna go left. So we go like that. No, it doesn't change when we move. So you want to switch to costume. And down is per. Switch to costume left. So that's up and down. When right is pushed, we want him to. And when left is pushed, Actually, you might want to make an upside down one. So just copy. Upside down. Okay, that may not really be right. Anyway. Go back to spray. When left is pushed, set it upside down. Yeah, so there we go. He now doesn't go upside down. So that's pretty much how movement works. So you can like draw out your background, which is what I'm gonna do here. background so you can like call this your oh no your town so uh I'm trying to think of Rostville no Rosedale so we can edit it's such a nice grass colour 
fill the pathway color. I've been going for five minutes. Draw out your path. Choose a nice wood like color. Nice dimensions for a house. So I'll do like the warps next episode. Draw out a roof. And I think eventually I'll do a tile screen for you guys. Well actually I think that'll be our episode 4 or something. Show you what the windows. Like this. But in each stage, each door will have to be a slightly different colour for the rest. So you can set your warps. I also made the houses look a bit different. So for the door, you can have this house door. This colour. Let's make it not so it's flowing. Of course you would do a lot better job in graphics than me. Okay, so that. No, it's not. Just colour that in like that. Or you can just design your own here. Yeah, I'm going to make that slightly dark for you. Nah. I'm going to select this one for now. If you want to set to different, so it would be enough like. This can be a shop, and this can be a blacksmith. So we're going to push OK, and we now have level levels here. So that's Rosedale, and I don't know if there's actually a, a let me just like look at the sounds for a minute. Sounds, play sound. No, there isn't. I'll have to get some sounds for the next couple of episodes. So that is pretty much it for the movement. Except it's not colliding. I'll do that like next time. Alright guys, that is it for this episode. Don't forget you want to save the project. Just come out of that, make a new folder. YouTube RPG creation. Tutorial. Uh, YouTube. Oh, whoops. YouTube RPG creation. Okay. And now you need to export your sprite. So, where you saved it, you want to make a new folder and you want to call it sprites. Now, you want to say this is player, and you also need to rename it player up there. Now you've got your fully moving play, you can go up, down, left and right, and he doesn't go upside down. Actually, when we want to push up, we want him to go to the back. Wait, alright. So what was it when... Uh... So we need to edit this. No, I reckon we need to turn it. No, no, no like probably like that. Aha! Uh -huh. So it's kind of weird how you want to do this. So you need to have it like that. 
Alright, I just ran out of recording there. So, down needs to actually be front. If I need to turn front this way, like this down a lot, so that's your up and down thing. It's kind of weird how it works. Now we set right to left and left to right. Right, we need to flip round. So we do bottom lagging again. Rotation like that. Actually, that might just be like was a second ago. Yeah, yes, it was. And we need to turn it again. So it's upside down. So that is pretty much it, and we can just delete this upside down now. Alright guys, that is pretty much it. Don't forget to comment, subscribe to come and drag it today, and I'll see you guys in a day or two. Bye. <laughs>